Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to build the inline clip itself. Uh, for my inline clip, I'm using this polycarbonate tubing. Um, for the parts that I built for my TKO, I'm specifically using this tubing. So if you decide to make your inline clip out of other materials, then you might have issues putting it in a TKO. But for this, I'll be using this, this tubing. Uh, you can buy this tubing. I bought mine from Amazon. You can also buy it from McMaster Car. Uh, the measurements for this tubes is in the comments of this video. Uh, the small one is half inch inner diameter, five eighths outer diameter, and the bigger one is five eighths inner diameter and three quarter inch outer diameter. Um, so the first thing I want to do is, or I've, I've already cut the two tubes to, to length. Uh, this larger one is eight and a half inches long, right? Yeah, eight and a half inches, and the smaller one is three inches and one eighth. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is I want to put a chamfer on the inside of the small tube, the barrel. Uh, this is so that when the dart comes in from one side of the tube, it has an easier time seating or aligning itself with the barrel before it gets shot through. So it's using a knife for that. And I don't know how visible this will be. And I'm just gonna slowly turn the tube in my hand with a sharp exacto blade. Do that a couple times, and a, a, a fresh, sharp blade really does help with this. All right. So again, I don't know. Probably can't really see that on camera, but it just kind of helps hold the dart in alignment with the tube, and you want to basically get a nice, smooth transition from the outside uh, from the outside of the tube to the inside so like it curves in a little bit uh, you also want to sand this to make it absolutely as smooth as possible just to make sure the dart doesn't get caught going into this hole the front of the barrel you just leave flat you don't want to touch that the next thing I'm going to do is on this larger tube which is the the clip or the magazine, I'm going to also put a chamfer on the, on here. And that is to make it easier to feed the, the darts in when it's in the, the knockout. So again, I'm just gonna use a knife and go around the tube. So you don't really need to sand this one because um, it's not, it's only really there to help you feed the darts in from the rear. And that's good enough. So when this is in the knockout, it'll just help you get the dart through the, the breach into the barrel or into this magazine clip tube thing. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the smaller tube with the chamfer that I, I cut on the tube and I'm going to push it into the larger tube this way. So the, the chamfer goes into the tube. I'm going to push them till they're flush. Um, so one thing about buying this polycarbonate is Sometimes you get lucky and you can just push the polycarbonate together, right? Sometimes you don't and it won't fit no matter how much I push. So what I end up doing for this particular batch of polycarbonate is I have to sand the outside of this smaller tube. The way I do that 
is with a drill. Uh, I have a half inch wooden dowel in the drill and I can just shove the polycarbonate onto the dowel and spin it. Um, this is a nice jam fit on the wood so you can hold sandpaper to it as it spins. I'm not going to show this because it takes half an hour to do in this case to get the, the tube to fit so I've already sanded one. Obviously you lose some of the clarity in the barrel material but I can actually fit this in here. So again sometimes you don't have to, sometimes you do. I wish it wasn't this inconsistent but it's not like it can be fixed. Um, so to do this sanding I use 40 grit sandpaper to do a lot of the material removal and then I switch to 80 grit or uh, 100 grit and then 320 grit to get a nice smooth finish on the tube and I want to be able to like force it in by hand a little bit and then I'm going to use a bar clamp to force it all the way in and again the, the side that I've chamfered, so that makes it easier for the darts to, to fit in, goes into the tube this way. Uh, so I'm gonna do that now. I have the, the chamfered side here, goes into the tube. And I've got this chamfered side here for the ease of loading and this gets really hard to push in all the way, so I'm going to use a clamp to help me. Like that. Okay. And I might have to hit it with a hammer a little bit too. So sometimes if I didn't sand enough, I'll have to tap it. So I'm just going to tap up here on the clamp. It's going to be off screen. That's not going to work. Okay, so like I said, <laughs> I put this side of the clamp on the floor so it won't be absorbing the impact in, in my desk. And I had that on the floor and I was hitting this with a hammer while also using my other hand to clamp down with the clamp. Uh, <laughs> not the most elegant solution, but it's in there. Um, and that is pretty much done. So, there you go. The next thing we need to do is make this inline clip seal into the barrel of the knockout. Because right now, the outer diameter of this tube is too small for the inside diameter of the barrel of the knockout. So if I put it into the knockout, it just falls back out. Um, there's two ways you can do this. Uh, you could just take some tape and wrap it around the barrel until it is a tight fit inside of the knockout. Um, or what I ended up doing is I happen to have O-rings that work for this. Uh, the dimensions of these O-rings will be in the description of the video. But they are a nice seal inside the knockout. And to make it so that the O-rings don't roll around on the tube, I use some tape to wrap around the tube to make a seat so that the O-rings can't roll freely. And that looks like this. So I'm just going to peel this off. Oh, I didn't get it. So that's what that looks like. So I'm, I layered this tape to be roughly half the thickness of the o-rings 
And when I push it into the knockout, the, the O-rings stay where they are. They don't get rolled around. They don't roll off, so it's pretty convenient. So I don't know if I can get that to focus a little better. No? Oh, well. Well, that's the idea, is just using some tape. Uh, the thickness of the tape doesn't matter. I just happen to have a roll that is thin. You could use a thicker roll of tape and just space out the O-rings more. Uh, it's fine. Um, you probably also don't need two O-rings, but it just felt <laughs> like it was, might seal better if there was two of them. I don't know. But uh, anyway, once you've put O-rings or tape on your inline clip, then it is done and it is ready to go into a knockout.